Amazon has not yet confirmed the shipment of my Xbox One. What? X. I thought you said they I did. You talked to the guy. I talked to them via chat and... Oh, hold on. I got to do this. I talked to them via chat and... They told me that, not to worry, that it would for sure be here. However, it has not yet shipped. It's coming down to the day. It's got to ship tomorrow, right? That's my, unless it's overnight and they can do it Monday and get through Tuesday. Well, which, honestly, which sometimes I, that Amazon happens. does have a hub. Uh, so, so we're, am, am I talking? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, sorry. Man. Can you not hear yourself? Oh. Yeah, you're really loud. Hello? Uh, you oh, were you're actually good. Really you're Let good. me turn you up here. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, you were you, no, not only actually, were you I, talking. I, I did not know really this, but I I can't remember where it is. It's down south from us, but there's an Amazon warehouse down there. And I, I bet you all their warehouses are just like they got just a waiting. Yeah. Just waiting for the green light to go. Yeah. Well, I hope so because I'm getting really nervous. Dude, if I were you, I'd get in really nervous. I'm not gonna worry about it. If it's not here, it's not here, and then Amazon will feel my wrath. But if it is here, I, I have faith. I have faith in them. I have faith in Amazon. They've yet to let me down. So uh, I don't want to worry for anything. They let me down. <laughs> they let you down? How did they let you down? No, they really didn't. I'm just really disappointed in them right now because of this whole... <laughs> because of this yeah, whole debacle? Yeah, like, well, no, that, that just... It bothers me, man. Like, you, you should just have a button that says stop. I, I, don't, I don't get... I just don't understand. Like, okay, we have 100. Hey, they ordered 500. Well, why didn't we say stop? Like, I don't... I, I just don't... I don't what understand. If, what if in this scenario... I, did that guy call in sick that day? Like I don't the stop guy. Yeah, the stop guy. So, I don't. What's his name? Is his name uh, Jim? Jim the Jim stop, the stop guy. guy. Jim the yeah, backstop. I just, I just don't. Jim the stop guy was understand. sick well, that day. GameStop. I mean, I walk. We walked in, and you're like, "Hey, well, do you have any Xbox One?" Well, yeah, we have four. Well, I don't think it's actually an issue. I think, I think it's just not flipped over. On like, I think it's just the wording on their orders is is set on standard wording. Because that's then that's what chat has confirmed me. I'm not worried about it. We will we'll follow up next week. Obviously, it sounds like you are worried though. Well, I'm, I'm, a little, worried. I'm I'm getting a little worried. I'm getting a little worried, but just got to remind myself: stay calm, take a deep breath, and uh, we'll take it as it come. What comes? Welcome everybody. Hello. Welcome. Hello. We are the X One Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox One community. This is podcast number one eighty five. As always, I am joined by the Bros, the X One Bros. For the upcoming Xbox One X release, here are some intros brought to you oh. by the one and only Daniel Bocamp. Daniel Bocamp, first and foremost, he wants to be just like the One X, so he's been at the gym and in the pool. He's slimmer, stronger, faster, and can do up to six belly flops. <laughs> Get it? Terra flop, belly yeah. flop? Yeah, you didn't have to explain that. I got that one. It's Mr. Mick Spicy, Mark Haywood. Howdy. All right. Next, he's updating his gamer tag to Jordan the Man XOXB. Not for the new <laughs> Xbox, just because he likes kisses twice as much as hugs. It's Jordan the Man, Jordan Paskett. <laughs> Hello. Last but not least, I believe... That was in, a good one. I believe in positivity. There's no point in arguing about consoles. Not when you're playing with the most powerful one on the planet, even if it's a few days late. <laughs> I'm X1. I hope it's not And late. we're the X1 bros. Thank you for those intros. Mr. McSpicy, what, 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 what games did you get to play this week? Oh. Anything big. Um... You know, it was kind of it was kind we of did a busy some Diablo week for me. Uh, we I, did some Diablo this week together. That was a good time. Yeah, uh, I did do Diablo. I, I mean, honestly, I've been playing Assassin's Creed. Oh, That's really. Beautiful. I watched some of your highlights. That water is on point. Okay, oh, yeah. do you have a highlight? Mister McSpicy has a highlight. Go check him out. Just follow Mister McSpicy on uh, on Xbox One. There, on just. Look at his videos. Yeah, follow. He has one where you jump on a boat, and it says, borrow this. Well, no, okay, <laughs> I got to explain this. This is why I made it a, a thing. So in this game, uh, you know, this is this is such, it's not even spoiler. You you are just like anyone else. You're basically like the sheriff. Okay. You're, you're about doing good for you're people. You're a magi. In any, in any, like, campaign, generally speaking, you're helping people with quests and things like that. Yeah? Sure. Yeah, the name is what is it? Medjai? Medjai. Yeah, like you know, in the Mummy, the partner of Brandon Fraser, that cool guy with the tattoos on his face. Yeah, I know that guy. He's a Medjai. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I you're just, him. Well, my mind's blown. Yeah, no, that's I... why this game is so cool to me because you're him. Okay, so you are about helping people, and uh, and you can borrow vehicles, so to speak, in this game. You know, it even says borrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And normally they just sit down and they'll like, okay, yeah, let. Just borrow. In this case, I was borrowing a boat. 
Yeah, okay. So I'm swimming, and I hop on it this boat. It cracked me up, man. It's it was so funny. funny. It made me laugh so hard. So I'm swimming, and I hop on this boat, and it says borrow. Like it normally would. You expect the lady to sit down. I want to borrow this boat yeah. that happens to be right there, and I'm in the middle of the ocean. Who so. of us would not want to yeah. borrow said boat? Yeah. So I grab her by the head, by the back of the head, and <laughs> yeah. I chuck her off the <laughs> boat. And her legs are sitting there dangling in the air, and she starts swimming away, and she screams when I did that. That is so, so funny. funny. Yeah, it made, it made me laugh so hard. Oh, I, I left. But that water animation is on point. What a beautiful game. Yeah. I am really excited to see that on the Xbox One X. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, uh, I'm excited to see I've all games on the Xbox. I've almost made oh, yeah. it, by the way. You've almost made it? I've almost made it not playing that game. Oh. Oh, wait, you almost made he it mean you failed? It. He purchased no, no, it. No, no, no. Well, so remember I told you, you called me and, and I told you I bought it. I had to buy it to like relieve some of the tension. Yeah, I know, I know <laughs> what like, you're doing, yeah. And then I bought it and I was like, oh. You're yeah. like in the corner you know, rocking yeah. back and forth. And then I bought it and I was like, okay, it's there. It's there. And then I put it on my external hard drive and, you know, I just taken it a day at a time. Three more days until I can pop that baby fired. open. I, just, I really want my first experience to be jaw dropping on the yeah, end, I but I don't that. know if I can make it through the weekend. No, I know. It's, I don't know it's if tough. I can. It's tough. I know how you feel. It's very tough. Mr. McSpicy. Going through Assassin's Creed, you've had a chance to dive in deeper, much deeper, a deep dive, if you will. Yeah. Thoughts, opinions, have they changed, improved, worsened? No, I love this game. I straight up love this game. I. Where I, does it rank on your favorite Assassin's Creed of all time? Well, because I, I only played, I mean, I played one, two, and three. Isn't the third one called Brotherhood, right? Is that Brotherhood? Did you play Brotherhood or Revelations? Well, well so there's one, two, and then there's the offshoots that continue Ezio's story, which is Brotherhood, oh. then Revelations, and then there's three, four. Okay. I, I think you played three. I haven't played all no, of them. No, no, no. Three which, is which Connor one? with the Revolutionary War. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, no. I, you know what? Was so Ezio I, in it? Was there multiplayer Honestly, in it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you probably out, played Brother. Out of the ones that you played, and you played Black, <laughs> I believe you played Black Flag as well. Correct. I, oh. I, I didn't. I didn't nearly play oh, as okay. much. And uh, Unity. Did you? Was it Unity that you Unity, got into? Unity is the one I got into, and I got it original. Day one. I, I got vanilla Unity. Yeah. <laughs> Face melting <laughs> Unity, which I actually really like the bugs. They so compared to all those, where does this rank in in compared to what you've played on the uh, Assassin's so, Creed? Uh, I this is one of my top ones. It's it's top up ones? there. It yeah. seriously is. It's uh, it's like Assassin Grand Theft Auto Assassin's Creed Far Cry. Boom. That's what that. Yeah. It, 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 with a little bit of Witcher involved. Okay. It, and I I I still think Witcher is a better game. Sure. But this has so much to do. The map is huge, and there's things to just go and do and do whatever you want and. I I I think I'm 18 hours into this game so far, and I'm not even playing the campaign really. Wow. There I I I'm probably four hours into the campaign and and I'm 18 hours in. Wow. Just like just like Witcher. How is the story in the story in this game? Oh, it's it's good. It's it's good. Uh, now have they brought you back to uh, modern times? Yes. Okay. okay. So last last week, sure. I had not seen Abstergo sure. at all. They did it. They did Abstergo in a very good way. Okay, that's good. You can literally ignore Abstergo if you want to just keep playing. I think I well, would ignore Abstergo myself. Well, the thing is, is I, I'm torn between those scenes because I, I played Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Revel all the sure. way up to... Th th I basically entered the Desmond Miles yeah, yeah. storyline, right? And I feel like they did Abstergo very good because you, you remember in the first one, the one that you got burnt out on because of yeah. feathers? Uh, it was two. Oh, two. two. Okay, sorry. So, well, we, feathers, yeah. remember how like you'd come out and there was a sense of mystery, like, okay, why are they wanting to go into yeah. Ezio? Why? Why it, are we going? You know, it was it was a really good story, but I feel like after like Unity, I didn't like Black Flag Black was okay because they were going out. Well, of the they're story. just I know because you're, but the way they did it, they're just like, nah, you're making a video game. Jump back in. I you know, know like that's, it was, it was they very, just kind of you know, it was but, very uh, non. Yeah. I just feel engaging. like once they finished that Desmond Miles storyline, they I just don't think they really had anywhere to so, go. You know. Well, with this one. It what's cool about this kind of Abstergo story, it's it's kind of like the you meet a character that's been on the back scenes this whole time that they've never brought about, and this character is basically why Abstergo is what Abstergo is in in certain the, on the technology side, I guess I would I would say, mm -hmm. and so it's kind of like Abstergo's origin story as well. Okay, I in a way, appreciate that. And I actually I actually because hmm. it's giving you the option to 
to read into this character and learn more about it as much as you want to go, you, you know, like yeah. on a laptop with emails that yeah. you can read and stuff like that. And it, it, you would probably ignore it. I find myself reading all the You're emails into it and, and finding out more about. I can this appreciate character. that. Do I, you? Do they give like when you come back out into exter- ex- Abstergo, Do they give like? Are you a character or are you kind of just an unknown? No, you're face, a ca- right? you're a character. Okay, because like for example, in the first couple, you came out and you were Desmond Miles. You know what I mean? Yeah, are you, you an are, actual character? You are an actual okay. character. You are an actual character, and you learn more about the characters you're playing with this person huh. as well. Just it's it's actually really interesting. I I would say David give the Absergo side a shot cuz okay. they do have you do like a 5 minute, you know, thing every time. It forces you out every yeah. 6 hours or so okay. in the game. Well, sure. your mind needs a break, yeah. you know. That's actually you have to take pills so your kidneys don't fail. Yeah, that's <laughs> the lore, you know. That's part of the lore. Um no, but I I I really like this game. Last week I had rented it from Redbox. Yeah. And I purchased it after I rented result. it as a result. It's that good of a game. Yeah, it's, it's really the good. Mr. McSpicy seal of seal purchase of approval. approval. Yeah, it's worth $60. I mean, how many games can you be 5% in and have 18 hours in yeah. and still be enjoying it, you know, as much as I am? Not I really, many. what I really like is, I mean, there's lots of things I like about it. I like the weapons, <laughs> like the, the weapons that you unlock, and they're very, they're very giving of uh, elite weapons. Yeah. And uh, it's always like, ooh, should I keep this? Should I, should I disassemble it for you know crafting parts? Or yeah. um, I have a, I have a, sh- uh, I have a rapid fire flame elite bow or legendary bow that people just start screaming when I shoot it at them because it's do 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 do. You know, it's, <laughs> I like that. They do a whole bunch of Spe- cool speaking of that. You said it reminded you a little bit of Far Cry mixed with Assassin's Creed in this. Yeah. Have you guys seen the co op? Far Cry Five commercial trailer, yeah. For this, where they, it's and they do it how I like it. They oh show my gameplay goodness. and they have narration over it. I want this game just for this trailer. This this trailer sold me. It makes it look. It makes it appear like you can go camping. Yeah. Well, they really they really friends. show off like you go camping, you go hunting, you f- fly your planes yeah. deep into the woods. You have a dog. Hunt it up, fish it up. <laughs> That's Why awesome. do we need to go actual camping? We could have a bros campground fest. Well, they campground show around 2018 with the bros in Wyoming in, or wherever in Montana. Thing, Montana, that's right. In Montana, place. we don't even have to go to Montana. We're going there <laughs> virtually. It looks what, so good. If it's the same one I'm thinking of, they did a really good because sh- they kept sh- they kept using the phrase "living world" yeah. that they created, and they really did do a good job. Oh, like, it, like the dog. You're just walking along, and you're like, your dog will sense danger. Watch. And then the dog like, starts growling and going up to this oh, coyote. Oh, the co-op looks yeah. so good. Then they're both in planes, just blowing things he goes, up in their planes He goes, together. I used my favorite stealth weapon, a baseball bat. <laughs> and like, it's, it's really pretty, too. Yeah. Going back to uh, going back to Assassin's Creed, a lot of the chat is with you uh, that they don't like the Animus and Abstergo sure, sure. and all that stuff. I think, I mean, I was that way, too. It kind of It was like on the boring side. This mm. lets you do it as much as you want or as little as you want. Okay. So I think it they did a they they did a good so, battle. I in my opinion, I think it's okay because yeah. I'm in the game. At least it doesn't at least it doesn't force you. That's what annoyed me about Black Flag. I was forced to complete a level before I could go back to being a yeah. freaking awesome pirate, right? Uh above nineteen seventy nine in chat asked the question Assassin's Creed versus Shadow of War, which one would you choose if you had to? Mr. McSpicy, <laughs> you have experience in both of those games. Yeah. Which one would you choose? Uh, or ca- or can you make that decision? I at don't this know. Point? They're both so can- okay. So I'm gonna force myself. You have to into purchasing one or the other. Let's say budget restraints. I don't know. They're both so similar. Of if you like one, you you're going to like the other. There's sure. no question. Is there one? Maybe one has a little more strategic lore involved. One maybe uh more action that you prefer. I don't know what. I don't is know. there is See, it, does one have an advantage over the other in certain ways? I, what about that nemesis system? Does that give Shadow of War an advantage there? Well, does the nemesis system is crazy cool. I I think both games don't have cons. I think they're just oh, straight wow. pros so they're on both that sides. Solid of a game. Well, yeah, because even even Assassin's Creed. I mean, this is it's such it's not nearly the nemesis system as as uh, you know Shadow of War, but it has its own kind of nemesis system in it. I randomly find Magi bodies around on the map, and you go and check them out, and then they turn into quests, 
and you got to go ki- and these are real people it's it would be like you found you found X1 bro's body laying on the ground and you got to go kill the soldiers that killed him mm. in his game does that make sense yeah no i like that that's so, it's freaking awesome yeah it, and they're usually their <laughs> their bodies usually near any like outpost so you can quickly get XP by finding some said bodies and and stuff like that. Uh, I I think both games have pros. I don't see a lot of cons in either game. So to go back to the original question, if you like Egypt, <laughs> <laughs> or you like Mordor, or if you like Mordor, <laughs> it's really a location preference, right? It's yeah. a real estate preference because they're both. I mean, Egypt has its own. They have their own kind of sorcery. Their own, mm-hmm. th- you know, it's. It's it's I mean and I really like the lore. I really like the lore. If if Witcher did not have the side quest power that it did, this I mean because this is uh, I would say this style. I just really like the style of the Witcher do anything. Yeah, the open world, but good open world. This is that. I would say the quests aren't nearly as good as Witcher, but you can't. I mean that's perfection. The Witcher side quests. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So. Doc Coffee in chat says, big fan of of just Egypt, never been to Mordor, so it's a tough call. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. funny. Soggy Bottom Boy, just subscribe to the channel. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Soggy Bottom Boy. Thank you so much for All the right. sub on the Mixer. If you want to support the show, it's just another great way to support the show. Um, come over, follow us on Mixer. It's where we do the show live every week. We stream five days a week. Sometimes we stream two two or three times a day. We did a bunch of giveaways this week. Mixer is a great time. Come sub. You get yourself some free, sweet icons. Huge thank you to Soggy Bottom Boy for subbing just right now. Oh, during, uh, during, 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 during oh, your yeah. explanation. Hi, you. yeah. uh, so huge thank you there. Jordan, how about you? Uh, big game came out this week, Call of Duty World War II. Yes. You purchased this game. I did not. Oh! I thought you said I you was were going, going to. So I was at the gym and I was like, Jordan, I was like, Mark, tell Jordan to go to Redbox <laughs> to get Call of Duty World War II so we, that we could talk about it, so he could give it his impressions. Can I, can I, can I... Jordan said he was buying I was, it, so I, was I didn't worry to. about it. Can I, I back to. him up? Yeah. Okay, back him up. Go ahead. I mean, it's BlizzCon today. It is BlizzCon That's today. hard to... I mean, before the show, I was watching, even right now, during this show right now, South Korea is heads, heads up against USA in Overwatch. And it's it's amazing. Oh really? Yeah. It's that good, huh? That's it's awesome. Who's so. better? South Korea or USA? South Korea. Really? For sure. But it's I mean, it's number team number one versus number two. Do you think USA will ever get there in the dominance uh of esports that if we are that say in Tracer the Olympics? Plays like he plays. Oh yeah, I mean and whatever yeah, that I mean, guy's name Jake. was. Jake. Yeah. Jake is nuts on He's, the USA Jake's team. A his good name's Jake. Player. That's a yeah, that's like Jake. Let's yeah. get Jake on the show. <laughs> yeah, for Jake some and Overwatch Sinatra, tips. Jake and Sinatra on the USA team is just is nuts. I was watching Canada versus uh, Australia earlier today. Mm -hmm. Go back and watch those. BlizzCon, Overwatch, you know, World Championship, USA versus, or or, I mean, Australia versus Canada. You will, I see esports as the future of sports. Of, of entertainment, sports. I mean yeah. sports entertainment. No, e-sports it really is. is amazing, and especially as they're getting and building games that are better to watch. And the one that I I point to that I super enjoyed was the uh, PUBG. PUBG, mm-hmm. yeah. PUBG just it's built to be watched, and it's it's seamless. It's entertaining. It's entertaining, and it's easy entry of access. Like you can understand what's going on if you've never played the game. Yeah, and I think that's the key. For instance, the League of Legends. It's a very niche. You don't know what's going on that's if League you've not Legends. played the yeah. games, right? Even though those are huge, right? But it's only huge to a niche. A PUBG type of game is going to expand it out to everybody. Who needs to improve their esports is the 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 sporting <laughs> the, game, the sports game, the sports yeah. games. EA is, I think EA. I appreciate them putting forth the effort, but the presentation of the. I, I think the problem is is they're tied to sports. They've yeah. got to get. They've got to stop treating it like a sports game, like. Treat it like an eSport. Announce it like an eSport. They're treating it like a football game, I think, is their problem. Yeah. They're, they're like, they have announcers that announce like a football game. You know, get, give me... You got to you gotta treat it more like an eSport, but we'll get there. Yeah, well, for sure. And and what, what Blizzard has done, I think it's one of the greatest ideas ever. Originally, or like before we've had teams, we've had like, I don't know, Dignitas. We've had, uh, you know, all just, just eSports teams. In this matchup today, it's countries, and that makes it so much more. Oh, it's like the Olympics. It really you get is. behind your country. I never thought. I had never thought I would ever cheer for Canada in anything. <laughs> but uh, I love Australia. But they have 
they have some some players that I know, XQC and Surefor. Surefor, his Soldier 76 is one of the coolest things to watch yeah. ever. In a, in a ever vi- in all time. It's so, like, he is... He is so good at Soldier. It's like he has his ultimate visor on nonstop, sure. just picking people is, off from um, above. Is Siegel still on the American No, No, so he retired. Oh, okay. Siegel retired. But he Siegel's, Siegel's Soldier is just yeah. on par, too. Wow. So Siegel went st- went to streaming, because um, that's actually a demanding lifestyle. Playing video games yeah. professionally is very demanding. <laughs> yeah, um, so back, yeah. back to... You know the whole call. Okay, of duty let's, thing. let me hear your call. So duty story I, I got here. home, I loaded up the Xbox, and I went okay. to the marketplace, and my mm-hmm. hand was over the A button. But just drop that thumb, now, baby. For some reason, like I just I couldn't do it. When in doubt, I just, press A. <laughs> yeah, I just it looks I, good. I've watched a lot of streams. No, on it, it, it really does look good, and I'd get it specifically for the campaign. And I even pulled up a couple streams, and I did watch the first about 10, 15 minutes of the campaign, and yeah. they did a fantastic job with you know presentation, everything. Really, really cool. Well, I just sound is awesome in this. For game. some reason, yeah. I just oh, I don't know if it's just noise. the name Call of Duty, and I have Titanfall, which is you know going to be enhanced. No, next I have week, heard you know nothing I mean? but good reviews of this game, so I was really excited. I'm, we're well, I've heard it. good things other than multiplayer. We're going to get it. Uh, we'll play. Work. We will come at you next week on the Xbox One X version of Call of Duty and tell you our thoughts. What What was the big game you played this week, Jordan? Any Any highlights to your gaming week? Um. Yeah, we played Diablo. Which oh, was Diablo a lot of fun. three torment. Torment. Uh, what did we go? Torment nineteen. What did we go? Oh, torment as high as you can go. As high I mean. as you could go with non prophetic, who is yeah. in chat. Just the man took us through. I am Paragon like <coughs> seventy now in five minutes. Yeah. I was just leveling up like yeah, crazy. It, really it was. was so awesome. You caught up to like everyone, and I was disappointed <laughs> because. <laughs> Because my character took three weeks to get to where I was, and you did it literally in 17 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was so much fun. That game is a good time. Yeah, it was, That it game was is a really good time. A game that I hopped into was Halo. Halo is a good time. Breakout, I was dying a lot, but let me tell you, so fun. Breakout mode is so fun. We've got to do, we've got to do a community play for, for Breakout, for mm-hmm. Halo 5. So you much know, fun. I- I jumped into Halo 2 because I watched you guys play. It like got oh, really? me. It got yeah. the juices flowing. Got me. Ex- got got, got you me excited. Let me tell you yeah. what else I did, Jordan, and why I'm going to crush you in Forza Seven. <laughs> you can't beat me in Forza, dude. I, I think I've already proved that you can't beat no, me in Forza. Ready for this? Remember that truck no race assists, we did? None. No wow. driving. No. Are you shifting no, manually? No driving line. Shifting manually. So am I. D- no, you're not. Yeah, the you were seeing. No, 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 yeah, you're, you're, not, you're worried, you're a liar, man. man. No, I, got I a liar shift manually. To, no, you, okay, <laughs> you might shift manually, but you've got every other assist <laughs> yeah. on under the sun. You got like uh, the bowling lane bumpers up around you as you go <laughs> around Forza. <laughs> you know what? You know that's stock in uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, <laughs> you have to turn that off. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I uh, Forza Seven. It, I love this game. I absolutely love this game. I'm really I happy. I do have my lines turned on, though. Camshafts, green arrows, a bunch of guys in the community were goading me and encouraging me. Turn off. Go for it. Go for it. Turn my streams. And so I did it. Just went for it. And I went back to earlier championships, uh, earlier series that are a little bit easier so that I could get used to it. And it is so fun, especially I highly encourage. Just start that way. Mix spicy. When you start, just start with all assists off, including the driving line, it, it helps you memorize the courses. Because with the driving line, you're not looking at the courses or the turns. You're looking at the arrows. With drive with drive line off, oh, or driving assists, what is it, line assists, breaking yeah, but lines? Won't I break my controller? Because I'll be so mad. You, you, yeah, oh. Oh, I had some rage. I had Just some rage leave me my Y button. Leave me my yeah, Y button. I had some rage this morning. People, <laughs> people were knocking me into walls. Speaking of which, tomorrow is our Forza 7 community play. The community play is the first and third Saturday of every month. So tomorrow, November 4th, is Forza 7 at 12 Eastern. We're just going to have an open party. Jump in. You'll be able to jump into our match there. Okay. When you jump in, you'll have to jump back into party chat. Maybe we should just stay in game chat. I don't know. No, I think we'll, we'll be in party chat. Are going to fix that? I don't know. It's really, you just hit right trigger, and it automatically yeah. turns that off for you. Anyways, come join us on November 18th. That's the third Saturday this month. We're jumping back into Battlefield 1, baby. Mr. McSpicy is going to be there killing people like crazy once again. Yeah. While while getting killed and then healed and then killing and getting <laughs> yeah. killed again and rehealing. And Community plays are fun. Yeah. It's a fun time. So much fun. It is the first... It is the first podcast of the month which means it's time for our patreon drawing yeah. boom patreon drawing uh if you want to you get a you get a game we <laughs> so, draw for a game you want me to explain i'll let me explain patreon go ahead if uh if you want to if you like our product here about positive gaming and trying to bring a community together 
with positivity and video games, regardless what console, regardless what uh, what games, whatever it is. We're all about bringing positivity and gaming to the world. Patreon is a place where you can support us. And what you do is you go to patreon.com forward slash positive gaming and you can donate a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. If you donate you uh three dollars or more you get you're entered to win a game you're every month this win. month's yeah. games that you will get to choose from the winner is shadow of war assassin's creed or south park the fractured butthole all right oh so those three are the games. games those are the games these are yeah. the games that you get to choose from this month of the winner and the winner of this month's wait do we have like a oh we do the winner are you gonna yeah i'm gonna hit this button here <laughs> okay. I, I forgot <laughs> the winner of this month's patreon drawing is the one and the only Korag! Korag! Congratulations! Yes! Woo! Come on down! Thank you so much, Korag, for all of your support. You get to choose between Shadow of War, Assassin's Creed, or the Fractured Butthole. Congratulations! Is Korag in chat? I think he might be. He might be. I don't know. He is opting. Anyways, congratulations, Korag. And thank you so much for your support. I can can fade that away if you want. Guess what else? You just wink at me and then I'll I'll run that. So next month, if you'd like to be included in this drawing for next month, we do it the first uh, (laughs) podcast of every month. Uh, Just go over and subscribe to us on Patreon. The choices for next month's games. Are you ready for this? Yes. Yes. Shadow of War. That's a good one. Call of Duty World War II. That one looks like a good one. Or AC Origins. That's a good one. All All really good games. Really good. If you want to be included in next month's drawing... Just to confirm, luck. was yes. this month's drawing also Assassin's Creed Origins? It was. Okay, yes. I just wanted to. You know, yes. Yeah. That good Shadow of game? War, Forza, and Assassin's yes. Creed, right? That's... Now we've got something. We've got something big here. We have a bonus Patreon drawing. That's right, All a bonus right. one. Thanks to Cam Shafts in the community, he has donated, kindly donated, a Forza 7 code. For the Patreon. And now this is for all Patreons. Even if you just subscribe a dollar, this Patreon is going to you or uh, you are eligible. You're included in the drawing. And the winner of the Forza 7. Oh, if you don't, if you already have Forza 7 and you win, just let us know because we'd like to, uh, we'll get you something and we'd like to get that code out to someone who doesn't have Forza 7. So, so there you go. But the winner of the bo- bonus, the bonus Patreon drawing is the one and only Stephen Carr. Stephen Carr. All right. Come on down. <laughs> All right, there we go. When you when you guys start screaming, it's so hard to level you. <laughs> I just lean way back, baby. The bonus Patreon drawing, Forza Seven. Stephen Carr, congratulations to Stephen Carr. You've won yourself Forza Seven. I love this game. I, I love this game so much. And a huge thank you to Cam Shots for the donation. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the support from everybody. And with that, let's get this show. Oh, can you hit the? Uh, can you hit that? And then... Oh yeah. And with that, let's get this show on the road. Jordan, uh, tell us uh, what are some highlights from the Xbox news station this week. Well, there's a lot. Is there a lot? But I picked my favorite one. Go ahead. What's your favorite one? So one of my favorite ones is. Hey, just so you guys know, I really like doing this podcast. I was thinking about it all week this week. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Sometimes because like... I th- we were super busy at work this week, oh. and I was just like. You know what? I need to, I I go, need to go talk, talk about, about games. games. Yeah. yeah. No, I know no, how it feels. Yeah, it's just I been one of those weeks. I you know, know how it feels. When, you're, I, when, you're I, when at you work, first walked in, yeah. I told you, I was like, I feel like I haven't seen you all this week. That's because even we though really we played haven't. like twice, we did play a couple times. Oh, by the way, your car, your drive avatar in Forza 7 it's is, crazy. is a little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hate him. <laughs> I you, always, on, you always well, manage to start in front of me, and then you're, and I have it on aggressive. Drive Avatar's aggressive. Yeah. And you're a little jerk, man. Well, so what I do is I play the campaign you, perfectly, you know? You and Cal, and then, and Cal, then Cal I, Snap. Cal Snap, who's in the community, ran me off the road. His Drive Avatar ran me off the road like three times. No, I seriously do this. I, I've, I'll play a couple missions in the campaign, okay. and then I'll just go and, like, blow it. I'll like ram into people and do all this stuff just so it tracks that for my drive avatar, just so people know I'm there. Yeah. yeah. I like you to know I'm there. <laughs> yeah. I've I've watched him stream and your car is crazy. You're, you're <laughs> like, you're on something, man. <laughs> I that's why I like that. <laughs> so I want you to have to worry about me, you know, like <laughs> like cold trickle. So, so Jordan, but uh, yeah, new story. So Overwatch. uh so Blizz, yeah, BlizzCon this weekend, a lot oh. of a lot of huge announcements from BlizzCon. Huge announcements. One of them being Overwatch getting a new hero. No exact release date, but uh, she's coming soon. Her name is Moria. Okay. 
What is she? I doing? believe that's how you pronounce it. So <laughs> well, she's really cool. Did you see? Did you see Jeff Kaplan's speech on her? No, I, didn't see, I saw it's the like, trailer. If you guys want to know how to spell Moria, it's O P A F. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. O P A F. Overpowered blank blank. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, no, that's funny. <laughs> that I gotta watch that tonight. <laughs> BlizzCon this weekend. Let's just start with that. Even if you're not a Blizzard fan, which who isn't? I mean, come on. Yeah, they're awesome. They do good stuff. Be sure to watch that. You can find it all over YouTube and anywhere. But Moria is is coming to Overwatch. She's a support healer. She's going to be under the support class. She's a I, she's a support healer DPS. I guess. So she does full. it all. She does it all. It sounds like she does it all. She's very cool. So she's got like poison bionic beam on one hand well, and she looks healing like, yeah, beam she on looks another like, hand. She's got uh, the Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah, dude. She's got your she's got there. dual wielding here. Yeah. Watch, I'll just go through her abilities because they're really cool. So her first ability is bionic grass, right? She has two different abilities on each hand. One hand, I believe it's her left hand, is uh, heals allies, right? She yeah. just throws it out there and she heals people. I think I've experienced the bionic grass before. Yeah. <laughs> And and then the, the, by the doctor getting a physical. Oh, I, thought, I thought that was. <laughs> you know, that'll be your left trigger, probably, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then on your uh, your right trigger or your other hand, right, which is the damage dealing hand, you will sap. You'll, yeah, you'll sap enemies. Okay. Of their health, and it'll return to you, and also charge. You know, yeah. your bionic weapons and stuff like that, right? Um, it's a long range beam weapon on her right hand. Just yeah. So Ba-toom. very I like cool. That. And she can yeah. like warp behind people and do, yeah. we, do we like that, this? New that character? is fade. She I have not been more excited for any yeah, other she's character. Really cool. really? She watch her. She's so different than anyone else. Okay. So what Mark was saying, that mm-hmm. ability is called fade, which it's it's similar. I mean, it's similar to, you know, uh Tracer's Dash and what's her name? Sombra's teleport, but it's an act or re teleport back to her device, right? But it's just it's it's just a full on teleport. You can just pick a spot and te- So I guess it'd be most similar to Reaper then. Who can just pick a, a faster code. reaper? Yeah, it, it looks yeah. Like there you it. go. That's probably what it's, it, cool. it's a faster it's reaper, a cooler animation. Yeah, it really is. And then her her last two abilities: one, the bionic orb. This is my favorite ability because I think this one you can get crazy. Same thing. You can launch a ball. Now this ball ricochets. Ricochet. It ricochets off stuff. One ball can be a healing ball, so you can just throw a ball. It will ricochet off objects and it'll heal any ally it passes. Oh. The second ball, the death ball. The one you got from the doctor yeah. will kill. Yeah. yeah. That one will just do the same thing. It'll hurt enemies. But what's really cool is when I saw this one, I'm thinking like, oh, dude, on certain abilities, when people get bottlenecked, like there's one uh, uh, map in Nepal, and you know how you're in a gazebo, and there's only two openings? Yeah. If you can bounce a ball off of that, those yeah. wall, I mean, I really think that's a really interesting ability. Super cool. Super unique character. I'm. They, they also talk about a map and huh? this character. And I always get more... Jordan gets more excited about maps. I get more I excited yeah. about characters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... We're a good balance. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And then, like of the course, she does, she does have her ultimate, which is, I don't know how to say it, but it's basically the Kamiha. O-P-A-F. Yeah, it's the Kamiha <laughs> from Dragon Ball Z. What she does, she just takes both her hands and... Mixes. She mixes, cross, yeah. She crosses the streams. Yeah, and just <laughs> fires this beam right down More at powerful people. Now, what cross the streams. It what's is, cool about this beam is it goes along with the rest of her kit. If it if your beam hits an ally, it heals them. If it hits an enemy, it damages them. So if there's a big group of people, you can just beam in with your beam. You can literally beam in, and then you can use your beam, and you can heal allies and kill enemies all at the same time. It's uh, it's a cool, it's yeah, a hybrid it's, DPS. Very, yeah, really, healer. really cool, uh, really cool hero they got. So, but honor, I, for, for honor, honor, free weekend. Uh, now this game. This is a game that if you've not tried it, I think if you play the free weekend, you will want to buy it. Yeah, it's. I think it's a good game to buy. I haven't played it in a little while. I'm ashamed to say that. Yeah, me too. Just, but we had a lot of fun with so it. So just we? like we, I jumped into Halo Five this weekend, oh, and it was like, ah, I haven't game. played this since it very first came out. That's exactly how For Honor was. For Xbox One enhanced. Played now. it right when it very first came out, and then I think Madden Seventeen dropped at the same time or something like that. <laughs> it's and I hard was, when I was the, playing that. I can't remember. There yeah. was there was a couple games that I wanted to play. But what a good game. That is a fun yeah, it's game. Fun. Yeah. It's fun. Very fun game. Free weekend. Be sure to check it out. Free Go weekends Warframe. work. Warframe. They, work. they really do. I mean, case in point. Wildlands. Wildlands for you. Two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Three weeks ago. Something like that. It's really smart to do these free weekends, especially to breathe new life into a game. I really mm-hmm. appreciate it. Go check out For Honor, though. That's a good one. Warframe's got a new expansion. New expansion. This this Planes of Edelin. Yeah, this trailer has made me want to jump back into Warframe. I'm not going to lie. I have troubles with Warframe. 
This, but yeah. this trailer, I was thinking to myself, you know what? This looks good. That's not that bad. You put, know what they do? Put your troubles aside. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking, I put them aside and <laughs> I give it a fresh shot. It's an open world. It's open expansion. world. They do, yeah. and it looks beautiful. Oh yeah. So a lot of people who are really into Warframe believe this is superior to Destiny. They are both very similar in their j- game style. Yeah. Of play the loot and the loot, gunny, and running grind. gun type of thing. Yeah. Story is not necessarily that great, but everything else is really good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of kind of Warframe ish, and everybody loves Warframe. And having played Warframe, we had a blast with it. Now it is a lot. It is very different and much more complicated, in my opinion, than a Destiny. Uh, at, at least the menu system, we just got kind of lost in the depth. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I I didn't know why my my ship got a coffee maker. It just appeared <laughs> out of nowhere. It the wasn't Power a, Rangers bad guy. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was hilarious. But the fighting in this is on point. It wasn't it a feels, coffee maker. It was like some armor or something. Yeah. It just appeared. Yeah, the fighting is on point. It feels so good. The fighting mechanics in this game. It's basically I don't care what the story is. I don't care who the bad guy is because yeah. I'm having so much fun killing everybody. Yeah. yeah. But this one looks good. Go check out the trailer. Planes of Eloin. This is very exciting. This actually inspired me. This is actually pretty cool. This inspired me this week. NFL customization. For the Design Lab controllers. So you can go design your own controller with your favorite NFL team. Now, all it is basically is the logo of your team that you can play somewhere on your controller. Now, I wish they would do this with college sports. I think it'd be really cool. I wonder if they're in talks to do something like this. So when I saw this and I said, "Eh, I want college sports, I went and made my own USC I saw that USC on, on uh, controller. Slack. What did you guys think? What, what did you think, Mr. McSpicy, of my USC troller, controller? It didn't have a logo. It had Fight On. I engraved oh, it with you engraved Fight On. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, How yeah. much did it cost uh, when you were all sudden? Oh, it's, it was $89 because yeah. of the logo. So, it was cool. Yeah, because it's a so I, lecture for the year. I said no I might, because of uh, that price. Yeah. But it was cool. It was cool. I would like to make one for my wife because she really likes the duck you know, oh, Oregon, Oregon colors, ducks. colors, and everything. White and green is clean. Yeah, white, white and green white, would look good. White and green is, is clean. clean. <laughs> that is, anyways, super huge. Go get yourself an NFL controller today. I think they look cool. Very cool. The player unknown battleground. Big news here. Oh yeah, release date. Oh yeah, I watched this live. Yes, <laughs> there is an official release date for player unknown battlegrounds. It is this year. It is this year on December twelfth, coming to the Xbox for thirty dollars in game preview. Now, there's a few things. Uh, if you get the game, or I think it's if you pre-order or whatever, you do get exclusive Xbox like skins and stuff, Yeah, uh, which is pretty cool. And the only difference right now between PC and Xbox is they won't have the microtransactions on the game preview from what it sounds for like. It, for Xbox. Yeah, for, okay. for, 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 right, for game preview. Now, when the yeah. full game releases, I'm sure they'll have all the whole suite of whatever. But for now, you're just, I mean, it's game preview. You're really just testing the game, right? They were showing off, like, the, the controller, how it works in game, how it looks on the Xbox One X. It looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. And I still think, even though I know, I know Battle, not Battlefront, Battle Royale has... Uh, some things that it does better, but when they sh- every time I see this game and they show it off, I'm just it takes me. Yeah, you have me. You had me at hello. I know Ooh. it's just I this. It's going to be an exciting game, and it's going to be see. It's going to be interesting to see how it does now that Fortnite is kind of establishing a foothold yeah. on the console. Now this you know was I mean? announced at the Paris Games, and it was pretty smart because Sony made some big game announcements. They they've they've got some big games coming out. Look good on Paris Games. Then they made this announcement, kind of. Stole the thunder a little bit, which yeah. I thought was really smart from a strate- strategic standpoint. I still submit. I wish they would have had the release date Tuesday, November seventh, yeah. with the Xbox mm-hmm. One X. I think you would have killed. It's probably not possible, or else they would have done it. Yeah. But December twelfth, still, still super exciting. Just in time for the holiday season. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You filthy the animal. And they fulfilled their promise of getting it to us before the end of the year. Boom, so. There you go. Moving on to a story I thought was really interesting. Go for it. Uh, Star Wars. They okay. have changed the way they did Star they Cards. They changed it. And basically, the one first part made me laugh so hard when I first read it. So basically, what it does says... It say? So it's it's epic. So right here, epic Star Cards, which is the highest tier of Star Can I Cards. Read this? You want me to read this? No. You're oh, stealing his thunder, I mean, man. You can if you want. Oh, do you really want to? Well, yeah. I'm right here. 
I have it pulled up. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay, so <laughs> epic star cards that... You can't. I mean, that, uh, he, I think David really yeah, wants to read you this. I just got excited. <laughs> the excited the epic star cards that are... Those are the highest rated star cards, right? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So they're going to be available like normal, but they have been removed from crates. Now, what's funny is... David, you can read the next part. You want to read this little sub part under there? Right. Uh, right there, yeah. There. To, to help. help keep everyone... This is what EA says... To help keep everyone on a level playing field, these star cards will primarily be available through crafting, with the exception of special epic star cards available through pre-order, deluxe, and starter packs. So what makes me laugh is, okay, we're taking out the star cards that you can buy with real money, except for the star cards we're keeping in that you can buy with real, real money. money. <laughs> so. Yeah, but it's only pre-order. I, mean, yeah, I, pre I know that. So, it's a pre -order. That. so it'll probably just be something generic, right? But... That's good. I, I like and that. I change. told you. Yeah, remember, they would. Yeah, I said, the uproar. You I'm did. Not you super did. I was worried. worried. I was. You guys you are did. talking over. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Can't understand you. I think we sound like the same person. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I I I was not worried because I knew there's too much. We live in a time and age where we all have too much access, so much access to information that basically a company cannot screw us because when they do. The whole world will know. Yeah, and, and you it were will right. Ruin I, them I was worried. You told me not to worry. Jordan was Jordan was, was literally breathing into a paper bag. I was because I was going to gonna buy down. this game anyway. You know, yeah, I was going to have to spend a lot of money on it. But now I'm I'm excited that they changed it. I like their new system. You will need to reach a certain rank to craft upgraded star cards, so you still need to play the game. Yes, and level up, which is great. Weapons are locked behind certain uh, specific milestones. Now, not all weapons are locked behind the milestones, but most of them are. There's a select. They say there's a select few that will be found in crates, which I'm sure are just kind of maybe funner little weapons, you know, like a handgun or something. You know what yeah. I mean? Just yeah. different, not super crucial weapons, right? And then, of course, class-specific gear and items can be unlocked by playing the game. Which, you just know, you're leveling up. Your typical leveling up. Your you know you know just you play the game and you unlock and stuff. You, you know unlock, the usual yeah. formula. Yeah, which is really cool. So and then of course probably the biggest news of the week is that we are literally three days away. Three days away from the Xbox, Xbox One, One X, X, and there's release. right now how many enhanced titles did they promise? Seventy. Seventy. Seventy for, or less for than launch I saw. week. For launch week. Some Halo of, being one of those, which Halo is going to be great. One of those. Assassin's Creed being another oh. one. Shadow of War. My favorite. Forza 7. Forza I 7. So excited 4K, 60 that. frames a second. Oh, here. Uh, HDR. Okay, so let's talk about let's talk about our launch day prep. Because there is preparation that huh. goes into... Let me tell you how I've prepped. I've asked for the day off. Now, if my Xbox does not come, uh, yeah. and I Just have come the over day to off, my house. I will... Flip. I will flip. I literally will trash my office. <laughs> Just throw a tantrum. You show holes them, in the man. wall. You show them. And I will stream that tantrum live. <laughs> On Mixer, so you can all see. <laughs> yeah, I am prepping. I'm looking at Costco right now. Everybody's been asking 4K. What 4K TV should I get? There's an excellent article on our blog by Eagle Eyes, the one and only Eagle Eyes, mm. about which 4K TVs she recommends. She's done all of her research. It's there. Excellent article. Go check it out. Right now at Costco. Costco just sent out. I'm a big Costco guy. It's one of my favorite stores. I just love going and browsing. Yeah. And free samples. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. And buying. That's where we get our meat. And buying. Where I get my meat and my toilet paper. <laughs> hey, in that's, the same that aisle. works. And the, the same, same aisle. Get it in bulk, baby. <laughs> Lasts for forever. I love that store. Anyways, Costco sent out their holiday <laughs> thing, their holiday ad because they don't do Black Friday. Yeah. But they do discounts, they do a holiday sale. Tons of TVs. Oh, my goodness. TVs galore, and they're all going to be way cheap. The 55 inches on sale when are again. They, when are they going to be so, way cheap? So I, I'm gonna, I need one. Between It starts between like this on Monday. I think Monday the 6th is when the first iteration drops because there's all different dates. First, okay. first one's on sale. Here is what I'm debating on now, though, because I can get a 49-inch, what well, you have, Roku TV. Right there, yeah. Put it in. Put it in my office, my desk, use it for only for the Xbox One. Or they have a 4K monitor with AMD Sync. Which the Xbox has. The, X the Xbox has that ability. Yeah. Granted, that's not a big deal. That only would matter when um, frame rate issues come into play. Yeah. But it's still a nice added feature. But it's the size. It is a 28-inch widescreen for 249 Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm on the line there. 28 inches. That's pretty good. I'm on, I'm I think on the that's line. what that is right there. 
Yeah, 28 is what my bigger... Yeah, what you're currently my, What I'm currently playing on is just not 4K. So I'm, I'm debating. I don't know. The only thing that would push me that way would be the AMD FreeSync. Also, the size... The size of my TV versus my other two monitors. I, how does that work out for you, McSpicy? The 49-inch next to your other two monitors, does, you, is it a big deal oh, or no? So here's the deal. I can't... I, I use the 49-inch for a monitor yeah, now. Yeah. And that's why I need another one. Because oh. I'm not... I d- you're going to put two of them together? No, no, for for my Xbox for X, because oh, okay. now this is dedicated to my PC. See, and that's what I think what I would do. Could you not just change the... Well, yeah. so here's the deal. I cannot you like, play... You like, you like the real estate. I face. cannot play with my face video games oh, 12 inches away from... I, I, I cannot look, you know, way up at 2 o'clock... And then look down at six o'clock. While just get the lazy boy or something. Just well, kind of see, but see, here. then that I nice would camping chair that you have. That would uh, that would mean that like I would have to holder? sit back here. Uh, right here is good. I think this is good. I, I would actually even move closer. I well, so here's the deal. Why not just buy another one oh, okay. and <laughs> have another room yeah, yeah. where I can just turn off work and stuff and go. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know. That's 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 what I'm trying to propose oh, yeah, to my I, wife. I, I, so I, that's yeah. I would be sitting that close. <laughs> I'm trying to get another one. Wait, I would be sitting that close at my desk, so I should not go with the forty nine. It works. For a like a monitor because monitors you're you're working at one thing at a time then you work over there but a one game your head that close is dangerous okay dangerous meaning it may it's it's a little much for me okay trying to look up there then down when when I'm playing like an Overwatch or a game where you have to look around a lot unless you're sitting back if you okay. sit back that like from here see how it, it would be perfect from yeah. here yeah no from here it's nice but so with you streaming it might still it might still work I, I might just, go, see I think that 28 inch where I'm at is perfect size for where I'm sitting if you if your face is really close then yeah yeah and like beyond two and a half feet. I think the 49 will, you know, three, maybe three feet. Mm. Then that's where it's fine to playing those games. Mm. But closer, where you are streaming and you're that close, you might want to. I'll, you know, what, I'll throw in a game on that after the show, and then you can kind of see. I want to dial that baby back. Okay. Mm. Well, anyways, I'm debating. I don't know. I don't. I'm. I'm. And just having that, it's like 249 at Costco for this 4K monitor. Because the problem before is they had monitors, but they were all 1080. I need 4K, and I need that AMD sync. Mm. Then the rest is golden, baby. Okay. The rest is history. So my prep is going to be getting a TV or a monitor between now and Tuesday. And then I've scheduled the day off so that I could play all day long. I've not got snacks. I don't know if I'll get snacks. That's I have the Jordan. day off as well. Jordan, tell me your prep. Prep. How do you prep for the Xbox One X? Um, oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pick it up at midnight, which I actually need to talk to you about that because you have my receipt I need. I have both your receipts. Yeah, I need mine too. And oh. we're all going different locations. I, I, hold, the, I hold the power. David can choose either or, right? I have our younger brother. He's going to come with me. I oh, so you uh, want to come with me, David? Yes. Yeah, so Why don't we all just we'll go together? Because we're at two different locations about 30 miles from each other. That, it's like nine miles from each other. No, oh, I. Exactly. It's it's thirty in our heads. Yeah. <laughs> but you want to get it like if we go to one, then we have to drive, and you don't know if. Yeah, but we I just mean, do a circle. We'll go start in start in Marks, come down, and back home. Yeah, yeah, but you're not that. It's not that far from here, and you have to go home anyways. Well, but I want mine like right when it comes out. C- celebrate with us. Because what man. if my worry is is like celebrate what if with us. what if we go to that one and then we get to ours and it's closed? That won't happen. <laughs> they hand them out really fast. Because, you know, they actually have a decent system, unlike stores we've been to in the past. <laughs> Let's go talk to the, the fat guy at your store, okay. and he will definitely tell us how much he knows. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'll probably, between that, maybe go to In-N-Out or Taco Bell. I haven't decided. That That's more of a, how I feel that okay. night. But I do have uh, Mountain Dew in the fridge. Oh, baby. Um, actually, so day. Let's. that's just the night, right? So day of, I, I still have my Mountain Dew in the fridge, and then thankfully... I mean, this is just the planets are aligning because they actually just opened a Cafe Rio, Ooh. like not even a mile from not even a mile from this location. So Cafe Rio yeah. is like a Costa Vida, but Chipotle type delicious. of place here in Utah. Yeah, it's, it's a more sugary Chipotle. Oh yeah, Jordan likes that. I like it a lot, and uh, yeah, so I'll be getting a big old sweet pork burrito, oh. size of your head. Oh. And just go into town on it. I'll be sitting on my front. Here's my prep. Didn't I'm sitting on my front porch waiting for my Xbox to come. <laughs> Didn't you uh, rearrange everything for it? Are you prepped? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so you've got two boxes now. Yeah. Where, what, tell me location of both your boxes. They're literally now. they're like ten feet from each other. You're putting them both in the same. same yeah, well, space. they kind of have to be because of how the house is being set up. But wait, don't you have a computer? Yeah, and a monitor. Yeah, 
But why don't you why don't you move your other your S over there for, it for is like recording there. and stuff? So the the baby oh, room. Your computer. He got is... kicked out because of the baby yeah. room. Oh. Well, that's what that happens sucks. when you have a baby. Yeah, yeah that, that sucks. His office is gone, so. <laughs> yeah, so it it went away this week. But I have a cool little setup in a corner by the fireplace. All right. So I can actually get some, like, mood gaming going. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. So, no, I they're going to be, like, 10 feet away from each other. But I, I actually really like this because I'll be playing on the big TV, and then my wife will come in and say, hey, I, I want to watch Netflix. I'll be like, okay. And I'll just rotate my chair. <laughs> And just continue playing. <laughs> so, McSpicy prep, launch launch day prep. Anything special you're doing? Yeah, or? yeah. I, uh, the loft up there. Yeah, turning that's, that into that's going to uh, be the 4K room. Okay, the 4K room. 4K room. Very I'm, nice. I'm mounting it on the wall. I actually, why don't you I, I kind of built this house it, around that room. Why don't you make it your living room? Because that's the ladies' room. Oh, I didn't know that. She watches her Survivor oh, okay. on that TV. Oh, okay, okay. I can't touch it during that time. Okay. So I get my own place up in the loft. <laughs> <laughs> That's Markstown. Yeah. Okay, Mark's Markville. Markville. Population me. <laughs> Here. Here's the question I want to know. What is the very first game you're going to fire up on that thing? Assassin's oh. Creed for me. Oh, for I you. think that might be my choice as well. Yeah. Forza 7. Yeah, oh, this yeah. is going to look good. Yeah. But anyways, I, I'm going to get some gaming chairs, a couple like banana chairs. Okay. No Lazy Boys? Ugh. I just, I just want it to be a social kind of a thing. Eh. You get like five lazy boys. <laughs> I don't like, have that kind of money. Awesome social. <laughs> awesome social. Five lazy there. boys? Yeah. I don't know if I can, uh, you know what? I'll drive around downtown Salt Lake, see if there's any on the street that I could just <laughs> pick up. There's actually a, probably a few. I know. Yeah, yeah, probably the ones I don't want. You don't want to sit on those ones. <laughs> they smell like pee. Walk away. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> That's the rule. For I'm your... so excited. Just three Days? If right? it's got Four urine, days? you're oh. out. If it's urinated on. Four days yeah. from the world's most powerful console. World's most powerful gaming console. That's I just, exciting. I just, I'm, when I get it that whole week, I'm going to somehow bring that up in every conversation I have. Yeah. There's more news. Oh, there's more news? There's more news. Oh, sorry. There's big Halo 5 news. Oh, Halo 5 news. Go ahead. Big Halo 5 news. The tunings on all the... Uh, mm. We'll just call it the tunings. The tuning the update. Tunage. Yeah. And it's big because uh, I was actually just watching Mixer, which is a great place Before to watch the people. Show. Yeah. Well, it, two days ago, I was watching Mixer. Okay. And I was like, what is Halo doing on top of the... Because it was on top on the side, you know, where you see all the stuff. They have this huge developer update going on. They're rebalancing... Every, well, pretty much everything. 14 different weapons, which is pretty much everything. Sure. Um, <laughs> it really is. There is like, when you read like the uh, the the patch notes, it goes on. It's like a full on 300 page article. So they're, they're changing aim assist. They're changing fall off range. They're changing reticles. They're changing uh, camouflage. They're changing everything. And the reason they're changing this is because they want to revitalize. I'm going to read it word for word. Revitalize and rebalance the Halo 5 sandbox to a more desirable state. That's cool. So, uh, which is making a lot of... Halo is becoming relevant again because this is a big deal yeah. for a lot of Halo players. Say, playing it, it's relevant again in my life. Dude, well, that breakout mode, I think, is one of the funnest you game know what's modes. So, you know what's so nice about it? Each match is under five minutes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you have rounds, so you have you can get eight rounds in a match, and each of those rounds is five minutes. I bet you the average round was two to three minutes. And you guys were doing really good. I was watching. I yeah. was at work at the time, but I was watching you. Well, yeah. I was getting David murdered was doing at terrible. first, and then then he won a round, and then towards <laughs> the end, I started yeah. started. It takes well, it takes an happens. adjustment. It's a completely different style of. I noticed of you shooter. guys seem to do better at capture the flag than the deathmatch mode. Um. So they were well. It was all well, it was breakout. breakout. Breakout has a flag so in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's capture. what I'm saying. Like when the well, flag it's just is, honestly, yeah. it's getting used to the strategy I, that is yeah. breakout. Yeah, it's just completely different. And then the strategy that is Halo. I mean, it's, it, it's just completely different. I've come. You from did Titanfall. shotgun someone one in the face one time. Yeah, that was pretty sad. That's a satisfying. And I got shotgunned in the face a couple <laughs> times, a lot actually. Uh, but I've been playing <laughs> Titanfall, Battlefield One. Coming back to Halo, it's just different. But it's a good different. It's it's a refreshing different. It's fun. Uh, it's really enjoyable. In fact, a lot of people watching that stream said this makes me want to play Halo because even yeah. though I'm getting killed and I'm not good at this game, it's a good time. It's, it's just it's, it's good. fun. 
It's really good. The funny thing was, the day you were playing it on stream, the patch was coming out like six hours later. Uh -huh. So everything's been reworked. Everything's different. Yeah, now. To get so back I'll jump in. back in and yeah. die some yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but uh, really big deal. I There's so much to say that I cannot go Dude, through this list. Patches like that, I don't env envy those guys. That Those are hard patches. That's a lot of math and numbers and. Yeah, one that's the, hard to implement because I mean, that's that's a lot. It's tough. Yeah, it, it really is. And I really liked how transparent they were about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and rarely you get a lot of positive feedback in a chat room when you're doing changes and things like that. But uh, overall, positive. Um, I'm actually excited to get back into Halo to test things out because they do things like on the uh, the assault rifle, some of the 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 tuning changes that they've done. Is there? They have goals. Like it's all detailed. Their goal was to raise the skill ceiling for this specific weapon, and they're, they they have goals on each one. And they did a huge tuning test yeah. over the course of you know so many days and everything. And I was just gonna say, fun fact: Halo Five is one of the enhanced titles we're getting. Next I know week. it's yeah. super super exciting. So that may be a uh, one we get on the X. I wanted to mention that because that was that, that was kind a of a yeah. big deal Very for, big for deal. Halo fans out there. There's that sound again. Uh, that's a sound that means it's time to jump into our discussion segment. This segment of the show is brought to you by Discord. That's right, Discord. You want to connect with the community. You want to have a good time. If you enjoy chat, if you enjoy the banter that happens here on the podcast, well, just head over to Discord because it happens there as well. It's a great place. We've got over 600 members in our Discord. Everybody's super active, super fun time. You really get to know other members of the community if you are not a talker and just like lurking, it's just a good way to lurk and keep up to date with the news and everything that's happening in the X1 Bros community. Go over to the website, x1bros.com, hit the Discord button, or come to our Mixer page. There's a Discord link down below in the tab there. Come join us. It's a good time. I have it on my phone. I keep in touch. I browse. It's now my most browsed app. Yeah. Especially when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> like, we all have those apps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah that's not right. Everybody has them. Yeah. Discord is now my most browsed bathroom app. It makes it makes a great bathroom reading time. You know what I did? What uh, did you do? Uh, I don't know if I do don't get know, through the scriptive here. Yeah. Do you know those like news racks that you sure. have in a yeah. bathroom? Yeah. I just put my switch in there. Oh, very I did. Nice. I like that. I mean, because I don't really play it anywhere else. Yeah, very very. It's good. been red so flagged, huh? <laughs> very good. Uh, bearded padded. Good bearded to know. Panda writes in, and if you'd like to submit a question every week over on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash x one bros, there's a post that goes up. Leave a question there. Bearded panda. He says, question for the bros. What canceled or dead game series would you like to br bring back or see come to the Xbox in the future? Canceled or dead well, game series do you want to see come back to the Xbox in the, the future? There's the Beats by Dr. Dre Dragon Slayer. Yeah, that, was, that one did look like a lot of fun. <laughs> that looked like a lot of fun. Yeah. Scalebound. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good one. That, um, I was more of a fan of like the original Fable series. Sure. Fable's huge. Fable, That's a popular yeah. one to pick. I think, as I long think as I they went back to their kind of roots a little yeah. bit, I, I really, I really liked it. And I actually like that style. But I would nowadays. There's more you can do more. That's with, stylized. Yeah, well, you yeah. can do more with games because that was still kind of very linear esque. Even yeah. though it was kind of open, it was mm -hmm. still felt restrained a little bit compared to games you play now. Sure. So a fable with like a Witcher potential or Assassin's Creed. Origins potential where bring it's the just charm of Fable with new technology. Yeah, yeah. I would new say ability. I would say I would say Fable. Fable's a big pick. Yeah. I think I'd have to agree with that. Fable, yeah. Fable's huge. Uh, okay, I have another one too. Okay. There's lots actually. I want Team Ninja to come back and give me Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Another Ninja Gaiden. Oh, uh, well, you downloaded the. Oh, I can't wait to play Ninja it. Gaiden Black. Oh, I'm excited. That game was that game is so good. Team Ninja nailed it on that game. I, actually, speaking of original, I would like Fusion Frenzy to come back. Yeah, I Fusion need Frenzy's like a Mario on its Party way back, but you want yeah. a regular, I, a yearly, one. iterated yeah, a series one. like a yeah, Mario, like Party. a Mario Party. Yeah, it is. That game was fun. That game was a lot of fun. I would like to see the thing. Did you guys ever play the thing? It's based like on a Goose movie. Ghost There's Ghost? a movie that's yeah, on the it. Movie the thing, and it was on the original Xbox, and it was so good. It was a suspense thriller shooter story title. Yeah. Single player, really good, really good game. I'd like to see the thing come back. Yeah, that'd be cool. That was a really good story. You're in the snow. Man, there, I'm thinking of so many games. The Warriors. I oh, want, yeah, The I Warriors. Want, that's Goldeneye. Your, You've that, talked about that That's before. one of my favorite games of all time. A, it's like a linear, it's a more linear... Uh, 
Grand Theft Auto. I don't know what you'd call it. It was, it was so good. That game was so good. I, there's lots of games. Warriors is on there, too. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Great question. Bearded Panda gives us all something to talk about. Kotar is oh, that one. Would be which I can't like even a, believe like we forgot Knights Kotar. Of the Republic, Old Republic 3 or something yeah. like that? Yeah. That would be really cool. But see, Ninja Gaiden came out with some sequels, too, and they weren't that good. I want... The, I want... You want... There's a reason that game died out, right? Yeah. I want... I want... And same with Fable. I want the roots. Atheos Emma in chat says Mercenaries. Dayless says Kingdoms hey, of Amalur. I forgot about Mercenaries. And Miraz says Bloody Roar he would like to see come back. Mercenaries was kind of a hybrid was, between I Arma... Liked- Arma and Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I really liked Mercy Mercenaries 2 when they introduced the co-op yeah. online. We, yeah. we played that yeah, together. Yeah, that was fun. You just shoot stuff. Oh, man. There's so many games that have just been buried uh, over time that are just Peter classics. Sonin writes in and says, Super Lucky's Tale is almost out, and it looks great. What are your opinions on this game or this genre of game? Do you like it? Do you want to see more of it? Why or why not? Let's start with you, Mr. McSpicy. Super Lucky's Tale. What are your thoughts on this game? What are what, your first impressions? How it looks? Is this something that you can see yourself playing or no? Very spiral, the dragon-ish. Yeah. Um, there's a time and a place for these kind of games in my life. I don't think it's now. It's just not now for It's you. just not now. But I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm always excited for new games. Um, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's the... I don't know if it's the art style that turned. Uh, it, I mean, it looks good. It looks like it's yeah. fun, but I don't know. I'm I'm thirty. Cuphead is more now. up your alley than Super. I'm thirty four now. I like the jazz. <laughs> Cuphead is more up your alley than a Super Lucky Stealth. Yeah, for you. yeah, I think so for me. Okay, but uh, but I mean, I've I I'm not opposed to it. I, I'm agnostic with this game. <laughs> okay, Jordan, how about you? Super um, Lucky's Tale. Thoughts? Yeah, no, I, I so it? I would want to get this game on a sale because I do want to play it. I mean, I like the old Crash Bandicoot game, yeah. Spyro. I really like Spyro, you know. Um, but I, this one and and Ukulele, you know, I, I both want to get those. So ones. Ukulele kind of got a little bit average, middle yeah. of the road reviews. I will reception. admit, if I had to pick one or the other, I would probably pick Super Lucky's Tale. Yeah, so Super Lucky. Uh, so I think I'm the most excited for this okay. game. Then. <laughs> Super Lucky's yeah. Tale, I think. Well, because you like you like. You have it's. It reminds me of uh, Ori in the. It's not Ori in the Blind Forest. It's 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 in that category for me. Like Raymond though. kind of a thing. Like or? Raymond Legends, Raymond, yeah. Ori in the Blind Forest, Child of Light, Super Lucky's Tales, right? And yeah. Spiral the Dragon, I really enjoyed. Crash Bandicoot, I really enjoy. Super Lucky's Tale looks really good for me. I think that they need to. I hope it lands. Like it's supposed to land. Ukulele yeah. just didn't hit like it's supposed to hit. And this is a this is an exclusive title. Yeah. Super Lucky's Tale. So and I really I hope they do a good job. It's gonna be an enhanced title as well. <laughs> yes. Those bright cartoon colors yeah. enhanced, baby. They <laughs> did release uh YouTube videos of the stories and the behind the scenes this week of like the the different characters in the game. It looks good, it's got a ton of personality. I hope it lives up to that ex- yeah. you know, the comparisons to these other past great games in this same vein because I think we need it. Mm-hmm. Anyway. No, yeah, well, I mean it's uh, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of games that come out in this style of genre that I can anymore. Anymore. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, well, although no, yeah. I mean it's I think it's good that this game comes out. I want it to be a 10 out of 10 game. I want it to grab me and make me watch it, want to play it. Yeah, I hope it, it does. I, I just think it's it's at a time where you've got so many other big games coming out, it's maybe not getting the attention mm-hmm. that it needs yeah. to get in order to, to land big, but hopefully it's really good and it brings this genre back to life for me. Great well, question, Peter It's going to be in 4K, just so you know. Yes. It's an that. <laughs> Peter Sonin, thank you so much for writing that in. Philip Dujnik. I'll just say Philip. Philo. Philip. Phil. Good old Phil. Good old Phil. Phil writes in and says, uh, how about the new Sims game for Xbox One coming I out November wait. 14th? Do you guys think you'll be getting this game? Why or why not? Jordan, you can't wait yes. for the Sims. Sims 4 on the Xbox. Why get it there when you could get it on the PC? I That's, my question, on I the PC. That's my question I posed to you. Why do you why do you personally want so, it on the Xbox? So game? I have it on the PC. Well, okay, I didn't get any of the expansions for the Sims 4 on the PC. Okay. I just got the base one when it came out a little while ago. I just like the Sims. You know what I really like doing? <laughs> I just like going into you like living life. Yeah. I just like going into sandbox mode and just building a house. I, I, I don't know what it is. It's I just, Minecraft. I yeah, I just like building simulation. a house. And I just I enjoy it. I so like going fun. to work. But the, appeal, the job. 
Yeah. No, it's 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 fun. It really is a life simulator, right? I mean, it's fun to get married, you know, all that fun it's stuff. It's a gigapet. Well, it's like today's gigapet. <laughs> it's a modern gigapet. Well, what's That's funny? What it is. What's and funny I didn't is, like gigapets. So this oh, I love gigapets, me. man. You, you, you go you go to work and you get paid and you can do things to get promotions. It's funny because you're like, oh, dude, I I gotta get this promotion so we can put the addition on the house. You know, like and you're <laughs> yeah. really like I want to get a pool and stuff like that, right? But it's really fun. I'm ex- I'm I'm excited. For this coming to the console for the same reason any other game coming to the console. Sometimes it's just it's just nice to play on the console. You know? Sometimes. I just appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this game as I well. I am a little worried about controls. I don't think th- I don't think it'll I, be an you know, issue. Yeah, I think I'd, most games bringing over these PC ports have done a pretty good this job is with the controls. Really, honestly, though, this is really the only game where like I've played it on the PC, and I don't know how they would comfortably, comfortably put it on a controller. Mm. You know? Given you, I really only use the mouse on the PC, but I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I because just, you know how I do worry about the controls a little bit. Yeah, though. that that is that will be interesting. Well, to see. it's a really it's a much slower paced game. I don't think controls. I are guess yeah, well, I you can't hit the issue. fast forward button. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's true. Okay, I like the humor <laughs> in it. I like when you go naked and the blurry <laughs> thing yeah. comes up. I like the when you take a I, I like when the, you use the restroom. I like the style. I like the style of humor that it brings. Just yeah, and they're just like, oh. and when you fall in love, they're just like, oh. <laughs> the you, guys are, you guys are funny. This game is not my jam. Oh, it's you so gotta fun. try. I hope they come out with a demo because you would get like, yeah. you could rebuild this house that you live in. Yeah, yeah, rebuild yeah. it, live in it. Get my it's, loft. And you can, you can get married, and are. then your wife can get mad at you for not cleaning it because you know when they're mad. They'll just they'll be like, <laughs> and then <laughs> a little bubble will pop up, and you're like, oh shoot, I didn't take out the trash. <laughs> oh, I forgot to take out the trash today. Oh, if you like man. the chores in Stardew Valley, this is just that on crack. Or you can torture your Sims and not let them use the potty. <laughs> Have Doesn't you ever done kill that? Them? They, no, like, they just pee the around. floor. They, yeah, they mess on the floor and then yeah. have psychological and then issues. You, yeah, <laughs> they do. Okay, this so is just a... just go into the game and just delete the toilet, and then they can't <laughs> such, go anywhere. This is such a gigapet. This is such a gigapet with just Wait, let, with let, graphics. But how is Stardew Valley different than that? Because you really like Stardew Valley. I like Star. I really like. Stardew Isn't that Valley. just a gigapet? No, because it's I'm trying farm. to maximize. Min max my farm. But that's in this arc- game, you're trying. To, you really are trying to min max life. <laughs> <laughs> and they come out. They came out with this expansion, City Living. Move to the city. Go to the club. Uh, meet a lady. Uh, go clubbing, dude. We could get okay. together as as a group of bros, dude. When you die, and go party it up, man. If you kill yourself in that game, death literally comes. Let me ask you door. this: Does Sims Four, <laughs> Jordan? Does Sims Does Sims Four have dedicated servers where we could have a community? That would be cool. I haven't been on it in a while. When I first played it, no. Or when I first played it, I can't remember. But I haven't been on it in a while. Um, probably after the Sims fiasco, Sim City fiasco, they probably rolled back on that multiplayer stuff in those games for a while. But I, as of right now, I don't know. I, I don't. I think you might be able to live in the same neighborhood, maybe. Uh, mm. But I don't know. I will look it up because right. could you imagine? Think about how awesome Minecraft is. Now, could you imagine if we're all in life? Yeah. Internet life together. Oh, there's Mark down the road. You know, waving to each other in our robes. Oh, he, just got, his yeah, he, just, <laughs> he just got divorced from his wife, yeah. his sim wife. Kids, don't trick or treat at that house. Because, because I put the Xbox One X in the living room instead <laughs> yeah. of the loft, and so she couldn't watch Survivor. <laughs> and she got mad, and the little bubble <laughs> came out. As, <laughs> as of right now, The Sims 4 is single player yeah. on console. So it yeah. will be single player so, on console. But that, uh, it's, it's, you got to go out and get your mail, pay your bills. Mira's in chat says mid max life sounds like a cool new IP. That really does. <laughs> mid maxing life. That really does. Great question. Thank you, Phil, for writing in. Uh, Barbara Blake writes in and wants to know any pro tips for Forza 7. Yes, I gave one. I would turn off all of the assists today. It, it just, has made the game it makes it's the a, sweet spot. It makes it more fun, but lowers your oh, confidence. Let me tell you. Let me tell and you then why gradually gonna, brings it back let up. Let me tell you why I'm going to rock Jordan in the face twice in English and in, in Spanish. 4K. In 4K. No rewind button changes everything completely. completely well, is there no everything. rewind Can I tell in you, multiplayer anyway? I oh, don't, no I don't ever use the rewind yeah. button. Can you imagine if there was rewind in multiplayer? multiplayer? That's right. Cars I, are coming backwards. But at it's you. forcing me to really learn how to drive because I can't depend no, on the No, that is good. Yeah. What what do you want to say no, about the rewind? No, I, I never, <laughs> I never use the the rewind button. I mean, I, I always like to have it. I sure. never use it. It's like I don't know cups, you know, yeah. in in your cupboard that you never use as a bachelor. Yeah, because you just drink, drink right from the, the. It's yeah. it's nice to have cups, <laughs> yeah. but I 
so it's nice to have. It's like a security blanket secures, that you never use. I never use the insurance. rewind button, but I always like to have it on there. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. So I don't know. I don't know if I could get rid of it, even though I never use it. Honestly, guys, what I think I want to do with Forza is I want to pull my money and just save for a bit and buy one of those setups. I almost have a million dollars. I think I'm at nine hundred thousand. No, also, no, I meant like in real life and oh, buy one oh, of those in real life. steering wheel oh, setups. That would be cool because I think playing Forza enhanced, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, on one of those steering wheel setups. Oh. With surround sound. Remember when we did it at the Microsoft store? Face? That was a good time. It was a good time. I'm uh I think I would consider myself Iceman in Forza. No okay. mistakes. <laughs> I never use that yellow use that white yellow. button. Iceman. That anyways, that's my advice in Forza Seven for anyone out there. Granted, I'm not the there's plenty of people in the community who are Forza Seven experts, Forza experts. They coach me up all the time. But that game is so good. I Turning off, turning turning off all the assists. I was afraid to at first. Don't be afraid to. Just, just jump in. Leap. It will be it will be harder for like one or two races, but you adjust really quick, and it's so rewarding. It's like the Dark Souls of racing games. You yeah. actually have to hold down the clutch and then shift too, right? No, 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 no. You don't. But the clutch is there because when you like when I hit corners, sometimes I'll press that clutch in so that I'm not slowing, so that uh, I'm maintaining speed. When I was down. when when I was taking driver's ed when I years ago, years ago, years ago, my instructor said there are two forms of braking. One, don't press the gas. <laughs> that's what that's that's braking. Yeah. And then two, pressing the brake. I still remember that. Just so you, know, you guys are looking at me like... I'm oh, no, I it. just thought there was going to be a clutch no, story in there. No, so I was no, like, I was that's, that's the breaking. Clutch, you know? That's okay, considered... Okay, I'm okay, telling you. Okay, okay, as, okay. as a... <laughs> <laughs> I was like waiting as for... I thought you missed I the thought, punchline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, as a... Uh, I you thought know, you were, you know, one as the a thing a and then mid- two the clutch. A guy that wasn't very... I don't know. Just a guy... Just a 50-year-old driving teacher. At school. Hates his job. Hates his job. He knows driving, okay? And he told me... <laughs> Doing what David said is considered breaking. Hey, that's a break. Okay. It's break number so, one. <laughs> what I do love about moving to shifting, by the way, move to shifting right away. It immediately makes you a faster driver because I don't have to. I don't have to press my brakes to hit some of these corners. I just downshift. However, I got really mad this this morning <laughs> because I downshifted from sixth gear to fourth gear, or it was five to third. I downshifted two gears right away. <laughs> Blew Did it blow my, your transmission? Blew out my, blew out my engine, and I couldn't RPMs, get above man. third gear. Was there an actual like, explosion And I don't have or? rewind, so I just have to finish oh, the race. Oh, oh, oh. Was it actually like an explosion No, just... <laughs> yeah, let it go. It anyway. just I would oh. make that mistake a lot. Actually. And so and so you just no got to be really careful. Can. Don't double downshift, or, or you, you screw up your car. At you know 200 miles an hour, you double downshift to 50. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you slowed down. I did slow down. <laughs> just couldn't speed back up was my problem. There you go. Great question, Barbara Blake. Last but not least... Antonio Domingo Dominguez. Antonio Domingo. I don't know why I said that. Antonio Dominguez writes in, <laughs> and this is primarily targeted to Mr. McSpicy, uh, but we'll, expa- we'll expand the question here. Uh, the Witcher, the Witcher Three. Don't use McSpicy's driver ed yeah. teacher. <laughs> yeah, I guess my driver ed teacher is not the guy you want to be <laughs> taking racing lessons from. Uh, ironically, he died a few years ago in a car accident. <laughs> didn't <laughs> uh freaky ro in poll uh asked if assisted play is available in game do you utilize it 75 percent said sometimes only until i learn how to play 25 percent said yes it makes the game no fun zero percent said no that's cheating so most people use the assists yeah antonio domingos writes in and wants to know the witcher 3 being enhanced for the xbox one x oh yeah Will mr mcspicy start his adventure anew to rescue siri from the wild hunt scum <sighs> Antonio says, my excitement is orgasmic. These are questions we need answered. <laughs> Mr. McSpicy, uh, the 4K enhanced edition. Not just 4K. No, I thought it was just 4K. No, they're doing uh, filtering stuff. Oh, with stuff like the, doing, re- yeah, 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 the rendering, rendering stuff. stuff is yeah. like the assets oh. are being upped. Yeah. Will Mr. McSpicy start his Witcher 3 adventure that's such over a hard, from scratch? That's such a hard one to answer. I haven't figured that out yet. I'll be honest. I have not decided because even though I'm only... But 10 minutes into the campaign, <laughs> I have put in like 80 hours of exploring. Of Gwent. Yeah. Of Gwent. <laughs> of Gwent. The Gwent tournament. Oh, the Gwent be the circuit. worst when I don't have my Gwent cards. Gwent in 4K. I mean, I beat the the main tournament. Yeah. My, I'm really Although getting... it might be fun to do that main tournament in 4K. Those cards, the detail on those cards <laughs> is going to be amazing. 
That's very true. Uh, you know what I'm probably going to do? I'm probably going to restart it. I don't know. But there's so much that I'll... There's so many memories. I mean, uh, this is a game, everybody, that I made my own achievement list to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a spreadsheet of it that I wanted to do. They should add... They honestly should add the achievement. You have all Witcher gear. Yeah. Everything. Very you challenging. You have all Witcher gear. I'm... I was going for that one. Yeah. That's actually all I was doing after Gwent. And then I realized that I should start to play the... Are you, are you the, the one story. that like punched everybody to get that achievement? Like the brawler achievement? No, yeah. I went through the whole, I went through that. I love that. The Where You just had to go pick a fight with all the bar people or something. Or the Gwent. The barmaids. Yeah. Well, one of the one of the quest lines Barmaid. was that... Did you guys do the boxing quest line? <laughs> no. That was awesome. I Because I, I went through that whole quest. I went... I went. I played everything but the game in this game. The end guy you fight is a big old troll. Like you will legit have to. Yeah. You know how hard trolls are to fight yep, in that game. Are, even you have swords. to fight one with your fists. It was and it, it's that was fun. There's a lot of things that I want to. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I'll keep my game. I'm Mar- for gaming. Continue. The Mirrors campaign. in chat says Mark is the Yugi of Gwent. <laughs> the Yugi. <laughs> Give your little talisman. Oh, you do have a talisman because you're yeah, good. yeah, uh, man. Yeah, yeah. I but. mean, I because it it takes so long. I seriously traveled just to meet the tavern person to uh, so I could fight challenge them and them. challenge them. Yeah. I mean, that's I was what th- that game's for. I was. It's an open living world. It literally I is an open living world. I want to be the very yeah. best. That's totally what I was doing. Pokemoning it up, looking around for people to fight for Gwent cards. Great Buy question. Up all the rare ones. Great question, Antonio Dominguez. Thank you so much for writing that in. We are so close to the Xbox One X. How exciting is it? We are so excited. Mr. McSpicy, that does us for the podcast. Where can people find you, and what will you be up to this week with your Xbox One X? I'll be setting up that that room. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to see some of the deals. We'll talk later about the TVs and stuff. But anyways, yeah. I uh, I will be playing Assassin's Creed Origins for the next while. I, right. I really love that game. Very you can nice. find me on Twitter at Mr. McSpicy. Jordan. Gamer tag Mr. McSpicy. Jordan, how about you? Um, I will be... Finally, jumping in to Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, I'm the Xbox One X. Yes. Very nice. I might jump into Assassin's Creed Origins as well. I'm probably going to stick with Forza 7. I'm just addicted to that game right now. It's a good one. Also, Minecraft. Come join our Minecraft Realm server. It's awesome. Just message me. Xbox Live. We'll get you. You got to be in Discord, though. Hey, we'll see you guys next time. Xbox One X. Xbox One X.